Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Henches from Beyond the Chart. And in this stock market education video, I'm going to show you how puts work and how you can make money selling stock that you don't own. So stay tuned. All right, this slide may look familiar if you just watched my video on intro to options because this slide was in there. We're going to talk about puts today designed to make money when a stock goes down. The value of the contract goes up because the price of the stock went down. Well, why is that? How does that work? All right, let's look at an, uh, an example of an option contract. Here's Caterpillar October 75 put option contract. And then we'll look at a chart and show you how this uh, plays out. So. This option contract gives you what? The right, and focus on that. It's the right, but not the obligation, to do what? Sell 100 shares. Why sell? Because it's a put contract. And 100 shares, why? Because all the option contracts are for 100 shares. Of Caterpillar, C-A-T, that's why you get the ticker symbol right here, C-A-T. For how much? At $75 a share. There's the strike price right there in the name. When? Anytime from the time you buy the contract up until closing on the third Friday of October, because it's an October 75 put. And the third Friday just happened to be this year, October 16th. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at what we're talking about. So when you look at this stock chart, let's assume that, you know, you see cat's been trending down and now it pulls back, back up in here and it's September. And let's say it's September 17th. You get this close down here and you think, you know, I'm going to go short on cat. Buy, I'm, you know, I'll, I'm going to try to make money with, on, if cat continues to go down. So therefore, I'm going to buy a put contract. It's slightly in the money here. It closed at 7406. And I say it's in the money because we're going to buy a October 75 put contract. Here's 75. This is the strike price that we're buying, right? That's what we just talked about on the previous slide. So here's the strike price at this red number. If the stock is below this line, you're going to be in the money and making money. That's what we call in the money. And if you're above the line, you're out of the money. Okay. This vertical line is the third Friday of October. It's October 16th. If, if uh, be to the right of this line, the option contract is worth zero. To the left of this line, the option contract is worth a value depending on how far it is below the strike price and how much time is left in the contract, okay, until expiration. So now let's go through the example. Now you bought this option contract right here. You own no shares. You've got nothing to sell, but you've got a right to sell 100 shares of 75, right? That's what that option contract gives you. Now the stock starts plunging, comes all the way down here, and you're sitting here and you think, okay, well, wait a minute few days later, like a week later or so, it's just closed at just a hair under 65. Let's call it 65, okay, just for argument's sake. So now you're like, okay, I could take money out of my savings or I could borrow money, go buy the stock in the marketplace at $65 and turn around and exercise my option contract because that's what you call it when you actually decide to execute it if you wanted to. And you could then uh, sell 100 shares at 75. So you didn't have any. You do have to go, you would have to go buy it if you exercised it, and then you have the right to sell it at, a, at 75. But guess what? You don't have to do that, okay? Because now this option contract increased in value uh, tremendously because this thing dropped down here. You just have to sell your option contract. So you are able to make money on a stock going down with the right to sell, but you don't ever have to sell anything. Okay, you never had to own it. So you didn't have to own the Caterpillar stock. Now, the, um, the, the other thing about that I just want to mention is that the vast majority of option contracts out there are never executed or, or you know, or... Um, uh, from the standpoint of, you know, turning around and, and selling the stock and, and actually buying the stock and, and selling the stock. The word I was searching for that was lacking was all of a sudden slipped my brain is exercising the contract. OK, so the vast majority of them are never exercised because you can just make money trading the value of that contract. And that's exactly what it did. So let me give you a show you an example and then we'll be done here. Uh, 
this is today. Today is Friday, uh, December 11th, by the way. So here is a page from uh, a, uh, I've got a, just a portion of a page that I monitor of a whole bunch of stocks that I'm watching and the option contracts with them. So let's take a look at this first line. It's Apple Computer, okay? AAPL is the ticker symbol. You can see that Apple last price, 113 closed. This is the end of the day. It was down $2.99 today. The percent change, 2.5%, 2.57%. Well, guess what? Here's an Apple January 115 put, okay, that closed last night, yesterday, at $2.83. So remember, the contracts are for 100 shares, so $283. That's what it closed for yesterday. Today, it closed at $475. The stock dropped 2.5%. But the option went up 67.8% in one day. That's the power of options. That's the kind of appreciation you can get for a, a given move in a stock. And this was uh, just slightly in the money. Actually, yeah, it was almost right at the money because yesterday's close, yeah, yesterday's close was above the strike price, okay? But it opened right almost at the strike price today. But anyway, you know, the bottom line, the point I wanted to make and the point I wanted to show you in here is just the power of this move uh, that can happen. Uh, this is puts. You're making money when the stock goes down. All right. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, uh, please hit the like button down below and make sure you, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, subscribe, hit the little red button in the lower right hand corner of the screen and subscribe to my channel. And uh, check out my website. Head on over there also. So we'd love to have you do that. So anyway, we'll uh, talk to you on the next uh, video. And uh, thanks for stopping by.